going on, everyone? Welcome to the 10-7 show with Tara and Ira Goose and myself. is yet another Sunday. It's uh, March 6th. 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 Glad you said something because I was about to say the third. I ain't know what day it was. <laughs> Welcome back once again. Uh, the sun is has gone down, but it's been staying out later, which gives yeah. me those vibes of... Oh, yeah. It'll just be setting this time next Sunday. We oh, really? Almost, oh, almost okay. The time changes. Next Sunday, we yeah. bring forward. We almost there, y'all. We almost there. I'm trying to lose my hour of sleep, though. There you go. There you are. I'm glad we exchange an hour of sleep. better hour. hour we're hanging out. Let's go to bed an hour earlier. In the light. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. I take that hour in the middle of the night. I won't be working that night anyway. Anyway. Um, <laughs> y'all know how I like to start every show off by saying how y'all been. So, how y'all been? Yeah, it was a good week. It's a very good week. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's an uneventful week, which is always good. You yes. Know, you just, you know what I mean? You rolled the punch. We're That's still here. Good. Yeah, right? We're still here. Amen. We're healthy. Amen. Mm-hmm. So, how about you guys? <laughs> good. We have go. I'm about like, <laughs> y'all look at each other. How are you doing? <laughs> We're fine. She looked at me good. like, well, how have we been? <laughs> we've been good. Um, we've been good. Mm-hmm. I'm excited because tomorrow is officially starts our high school baseball season. Y'all know I coach high school ball, and this is our first season in two years. Oh yeah, because of the pandemic. So I'm, you know, I'm excited about that. Um, nice. And uh, I'm excited to be able to be outside to do it on a warm day tomorrow. Hopefully, it's yeah. Good. Oh, hopefully it's warmer than today. It's gonna rain off and on all day. Fingers crossed it doesn't rain. I'm going out there anyway. I feel you. I'm going out there. Yeah, take but, your wind here. So y'all know how oh let me go to this comment real quick. Let me see. Oh, here we go. All right. <laughs> what up, Sheena? Hi, hey Sheena. Sheena wanted to say what's up to everybody. But uh <laughs> y'all know how we do, and y'all know what we do here. Oh, let me get that comment out there real quick. Oh, <laughs> oh, Lord. I got to take it down. Where am I? My bad, y'all. Uh, <laughs> y'all know how we do. It's that time. The time for every, it's time for everybody's favorite part of the show. So we'll mm-hmm. find the graphic again. And y'all know what part of the show that is. Yep. Of course, it's the Would You Rather portion of the show brought to you by who, Tara? Therapeutic Billing. Who's that? (laughs) Therapeutic Billing is the largest minority-owned and women-led medical billing and medical credentialing firm in the United States. Therapeutic Billing offers medical billing, credentialing, virtual assistance services, and bookkeeping services. The telephone number for therapeutic billing is 610-228-2029. The website address, if you want to check us out, is www.therapeuticbilling.com. There you go. Yay. There you go. Shout mm-hmm. out to therapeutic billing. Um, who got, you got I have them. Okay. I have the would you rather for would today. Rather? Let's get started. I'm going to try to save the best one for last. Okay. So here's the first one. Would you rather be able to control animals, but not humans, with your mind, or control electronics with your mind? <laughs> I feel like we almost there anyway. Animals. Animals? Why animals? <laughs> because electronics. Um, using electronics is based on having power, electricity. So if you're ever in a situation where you don't have it, then your power is useless. Mm. But an animal doesn't need any external power source. So I'll take that. Damn, Goose, did you uh did you but, any, no, did you steal the notes before class or something? <laughs> <laughs> you thought about all that that short of time, didn't sure. I? Okay, all right. I didn't think of it that way, but I was thinking animals because I just love them all so much. So I'd want them around me. I wasn't thinking about it that way, but I was thinking animals because I was thinking like Aquaman and I had that vision of my <laughs> I did. I mean, oh, why Aquaman? So because remember at the end when they was fighting the war and like all the sea animals was like on his side and they started tearing everybody up. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need the yeah. animals. Interesting. Oh, well, I did see Aquaman. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take animals and I was on the lines of goose, but I didn't have as much time to think about it as he did. <laughs> he had the same amount of time. You had more. 
<laughs> it doesn't feel like it. it. Just don't feel like it. But um, because you, I mean, you already control electronics with your hand anyway. They do what you want them to do. Right now, it seems like they read your mind yeah, now. Right now, uh, right. animals have control. I've never been able to just control animals, so yeah, I control all them jobs. Like just you know, it'd be cool to just be able to control the animals. Like all the animals, like the shark, the giant no, octopus in the bottom of the ocean. It's actually a lot more power than controlling electricity. If you could control well, animals, electronics. Right. electronics. Yeah. If you could control animals, well, I mean, if you control electronics with with, it depends on the the depth of your control because mm -hmm. you'd be like, oh, I'm gonna ride past this ATM transfer mm. ten thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> exactly. They already have like prosthetics that people are using to control with like their mind. I think there are some prosthetics out there that people can control mm -hmm. with their mind. I believe so too. So um yeah, I'm gonna take animals because yeah. I'm going animals. Yeah. Plus I, right. you can probably in some way make animals conduct electricity for you by you know building some contraption or something. <laughs> so Getting let us on the wheel. It's got real deep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's not even the deep one. Oh. Um so let us know what you what uh, your choice would be uh, in the audience. But don't forget to put the comments up. All right. So here's the next one. Would you rather always be 10 minutes late or always be 20 minutes early? 20 minutes early. I'm always 20 minutes early anyway. 20 minutes early. I'd rather be 20 minutes early. <laughs> Yeah. I'll so, say 20 minutes early as well. Are you going to say it and mean it, or are you just saying it? I'd rather be 20 minutes. She looked at me like I'm never the one that's the first one ready to leave out the house. We're not going to go here. We're just not. <laughs> we don't I'm going to pick a battle with this one. Huh? We all know the truth. We don't need to go there. We already been there. Hey. Really? <laughs> we're not even gonna go there. All right, on to the next one. Sorry, we gang up. All right, so this is the last one. On to the next one. Would you rather have one real get out of jail free card or a key that opens any door? Sh Sheena, you always twenty minutes early. All Can the you time. use the key multiple times? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. See, just answer the question. You either get one real free get out of jail card. I might need that. Um, <laughs> but so, I would rather have a key that opens any door. I'll take the get out of jail free card. I want to take the get out of jail because, free because card. Because if I had the key and I was in jail, it only won't open one door, right? Yeah. No, it opened well, any door. Right, so it'll open my cell, but I'll still be inside the prison. So they could put me back in there. That's why I was saying how many I doors can you get open? out of jail free. Like you just use the cake on using the key to open the doors you need to get out. Right. But, listen, I've said on the show prior previously that I ain't going to jail for no reason. I, <laughs> I need to get out of jail free card. Yeah, yeah and, I don't... And, and I'll just behave myself after that. Right. <laughs> He's out um, of just be on the up and up. <laughs> but the thing about it is if you have a get out of jail free card, right? Mm -hmm. There's this now. Give you the opportunity to do some grimy stuff that you yeah. normally wouldn't have done. See, that's what I was thinking. Like, if you get, uh, if you have a get out of jail free card, can I go after the one person that I really want to go after? No, see, you thinking wrong. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. do as much as I can before I get caught. Oh, I dig what you're saying. But see, you can do that too. <laughs> uh -uh. I'll take the key number one because I was not created to be in jail. Girl. Number two, nobody was created to be. In jail. <laughs> I'm just saying, but I she really knows at this age, she I really handle it. <laughs> but and then number two is you, you get out of jail free, but it's not a clear your record card. So yeah. I'll take the uh, open the yeah. key that opens any door. Okay. You got. Oh, I'm sick with my guy out of jail free. Put something on my record. Long As a black man, I think that's more valuable. What? To get out <laughs> get of jail, out of jail free. free card? Card. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might be on to something. All right. All right. So there you would you rather oh, for that was today? All three, yeah, it was all three. Oh wow. Okay. That was fast. That was fast. That was I fast. know. Right. I know. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, goose call shotgun on the first year, Tins. 
Well, and now it's that time of the show. It's time for the Dear 10-7 part of the show, and y'all know about that. So uh, that's the part of the show where we read y'all letters, y'all stuff. Plural. Give you mm-hmm. our advice. We and are not professionals. Not at all. So, Goose, you got the floor. All right. Dear 10-7, I met a very nice man while I was at a bar. Because I was slightly drunk, he drove me home. We exchanged numbers, and since then, we have been out once. I'm pretty sure we will be going out again. The problem is, I have no idea what his name is. <laughs> oh, no. We didn't exchange social media contacts. I feel awful asking him what his name is now. Any suggestions? Ask him what his name you is. You have to ask him what his name is. Or you can ask him, say, what's your uh, Facebook handle? Yeah. Instagram handle, yeah. something like that. And oh, if, yeah. if you don't, if you don't want to be straight up and just be like, you know what? I know you drove me home. You know where I live, but I don't know what your name is. Uh-huh. <laughs> and what's more, girl? You said you were slightly drunk. What the world? <laughs> That's a little bit more than a slight. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would just yeah. say, are you interested in this dude really that you don't remember his name? Well, she was slightly drunk the first time they went out again. Oh, yeah. So, like, what were you calling him that whole time? She using him for hey, free. Hey, you. <laughs> it's, it's not like um, I, I've, I've it's been around like, people that I know their name and had conversations. Like, I've been there. I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Been, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm the worst with names. Oh, he totally is. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm with the worst with names. But yeah, you just going to straight up like yeah. yeah. There's there's no way around it. But just say, look, I'm terrible with names. Before it this gets is a question crazy. you should have asked on the first date. Yeah, right. Since you were intoxicated. When y'all met, and you know you're gonna go out with him again, so clearly y'all like kind of quasi like each other if you're gonna see him again. So here's what do you have his name under in your phone? But but before I'm bar guy, man, <laughs> a bar guy. Before y'all went out the second time, how did y'all communicate that? Like, and then who called who and said, like, what do people say? Like, you know what? I just thought about it, like. Everybody you call, you're calling their line. So it's not like you're like, can I speak to such and such? Like, right. Oh, right. Yeah, right. You know what? I didn't yeah. think about that. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what do you say? I mean, he just say, hello, hello. You recognize each other's voice. You just hey, start- man, it's like, hey, this is me. <laughs> hey, it's me from the other night. Remember? <laughs> right. Exactly. Remember me? I don't remember your name. I think you're just going to have to be honest. Like, listen, I. I was messed up the night we went out, and then oh, yeah. I was I was embarrassed to say, "Yeah, I can't honest. remember your name." Like I like you, but nah. what's your name again? Listen, yeah, I would just be honest. Blame it on age. What's your like, name again? <laughs> 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 that's, that's like that's like an A one of like your name. Or call him off, maybe like, "Hey, Joe." Just this, like, who's Joe? This might wind up being a funny story that they tell their kids. It it could be, it could but be. like if somebody, if I'm on a, like a third date with somebody and they don't know my name, I'm like, oh, she really ain't into me. She's just trying to get a drink or whatever. Like she'd be like, yeah, yeah um, Larry. I, I think if she's like Larry. totally honest and be like that first night, you gotta forgive me. I'm so sorry. You he know not, what the situation was. Not be like, not not be be salty. Nope, not at be all. On, be honest about it now. Yeah, uh-huh. don't go on a, like one more date. <laughs> don't let it linger now. Tell yeah. him now. So. I agree. All right, y'all yep. ready for the next one? Guess, yep. Guess it's my turn to read this dissertation here. Huh? <laughs> Listen, if you want me to read it, I can. I, know <laughs> read it. I can read it. I'll, All right, right, go ahead. Go ahead. Right, you got it. Time to go how to handle this. Let me see if I remember. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. Dear 10-7, I've been dating a married woman for several months. Hey, That's the first wrong move right there. I mean, <laughs> hey, you did wrong in the first <laughs> sentence. Wrong is two left shoes. <laughs> I've been dating a married woman for several months. She told me many times that she and her husband are trying to split amicably. But they have two children, so leaving was not an option. She says she's in an open marriage. Recently, she told me that a guy at her workplace has shown interest in her. I asked her not to talk to him outside of work because it's disrespectful to me. First of all, she married him. Hold on, hold on. I got a long long ways to go. Hold on, hold on. Lord, I got to hold my breath. She got mad at me and told me that we need to take a break. Fast forward, fast forward, we were we are at a bar and she is telling me how much she loves me. I glance over and I see her trying to hide her phone. 
<laughs> well, lo and be oh shoot, I don't blew the drone up. Well, lo and behold, I see she's sending provocative photos and texting the dude from her job, the guy I already asked her not to speak to. I pretty much cursed her out and left. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> nah, don't laugh at the man. Hold up. Hold on, don't laugh at him yet. Hold up. I pretty much cursed her out and left. Now we're at the point she has blocked my number. Yeah, she should have. Won't talk to me and has told everyone who knew about us that I went psycho on her. <laughs> yeah, you, you did. did. Um, <laughs> so now, of course, I'm the bad guy. You of are. Course. I don't really care what strangers think of me. And you shouldn't. I'm just dumbfounded as to why she would treat me this way. <laughs> She was using this as an excuse to be with, was she using this as an excuse to be with other people? I have told her countless times that if she wanted to see other people, she was free to do so, but just be honest with me so I can protect myself. She denied that she wanted to be with other people. She said she loved me and only wanted to be with me. I'm struggling. Hold on. I'm almost done. I'm struggling to get over her. Did she ever love me? No, no. Why, hold on, hold on. Got two more. Why, why would she act like this? Any advice for me? Plenty of advice. Okay, do I'll go ahead. You let write, me, let you write, write me the text. text. Okay, let's get you some understanding. Go ahead, Tyra. Sheena says, "How does this guy think he could tell her to stop talking to someone when he is the dude on the side?" <laughs> You the side John. You need to side John. Well, first of all, I find it funny that he said that her and her husband is in an open relationship, right? Right. Mm -hmm. But then he's salty when she see other people. Dog, if she is not being monogamous with her husband, why is she? Why you think she won't be monogamous with you? Exactly. Exactly. That's why I said, dude, you the entanglement. <laughs> you got your feelings hurt. Mm -hmm. End the story. Pick up your feelings, bruh, and move on. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Man. And then she said, then he said, wait a minute, because then he said, oh, her and her husband are trying to divorce amicably. And then the next sentence, oh, they in an open marriage. Right. That's so a contradiction. You in an open marriage, right? Uh, yeah. Well, well it, it could be, it could be divorcing for financial reasons. It, it, you know what I mean? Just the, the, the emotional, you know what I mean, relationship stuff. Love and caring and right. all that kind of stuff is not necessarily a marriage breaker, right? I just listen. You he he went not into it knew what he was the side John. I don't know why he expected anything yeah. other than side John treatment. Bro, right. <laughs> and, and, and if she in an old relationship with her husband, right, right, right. exactly. And then you come through, right, right. Go, go get a girlfriend, exactly, and get with her when she's available. You you. Way complicated. Definitely so. messing but it up. But you and your feelings. That's what it it's is. Now you're blocked. Man, it's hard. Uh, it's, 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 that's that's it's, exactly what he and his feelings. Yeah. yeah. He, he yeah. got in his feelings. He fell for this chick. He thought it was going to be them. In Definitely. The, Definitely. Marital oh. bliss. I mean, you could have at least waited until the ink on the divorce decree was dry. I mean, seriously, sir? Seriously. Yeah. Well. But. Yeah, I, I feel what you're saying there, but it's just kind of you know it, this boy like this is beyond even that. Like he he said, please don't talk to this other dude that's disrespectful to me. How? How? And you straight disrespected her husband. Like how? Exactly. This whole this whole letter is a contradiction. It because is because he said she told him about the guy at work. He said just don't talk to him outside of work. But then he goes on to say, I told her she could see other people. Just don't lie to me. Dog, what are you talking about? about this dude. <laughs> right? Like, you, you, she could see other people. What, well, so what was wrong with this guy? Well, because she's every day. I totally believe that she blocked him because she realized that he's cuckoo ka -choo. Yeah. Yeah. And she should move on, move far, mm -hmm. and move fast. Y'all two are on two different streets. Yeah. yeah. You're on two different streets, bro. Yeah. Let's yeah. put it, let's put it like that. Y'all on two different streets, bro. Go find you a girl that only want one man. Yep, that's a good, that's a good start. <laughs> good Since you can't yeah. handle chicks with girlfriends, I mean, with Boyfriend. boyfriends and, and husbands. husbands, yeah, yeah, you can't do that. I mean, and if, and if that's not your lane, it's cool, but you gotta be honest with yourself, right? Exactly. Everybody's not yeah. built to handle that. Mm -mm. I know I'm not. Yeah, I'm saying, no, I'm not. Yeah, I, I have to use my get out of jail free card. 
And there you go. Or I had to talk to the animals and send some. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so listen here. I want you to go in his apartment. We're gonna right? mount up. <laughs> Dr. Doolittle. Uh-huh. We'll have a tiger at your front door. Lord have mercy, Jesus. <laughs> All right, you want to take the next one or you want me to take it? I'll take it. All right, go. All right. Dear 107, I've been seeing a guy for about a month now who I'm really into. This I'm really into. The sex is great, and we have a lot of fun together. I have a few concerns though. He says he's over his ex. But it feels like he brings her up a little too much. I also recently found out that we met only a week or so after their relationship officially ended. I feel like there's potential for this to turn into something more serious, but I'm worried that I'm just the rebound girl. How do I know? If you're writing this letter, then you know. You already know. But but I'm not going to say that. So this is what I'm saying. You said you met the boy like a week after you broke up with your boyfriend or whatever. Well, after he broke up, right? Mm-hmm. If he was in a long term relationship, you you don't want to hear it, but that's all he knows right now. Oh yeah, that's yeah, true. Makes sense. Well, you know, that, sense. That's all he knows. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, Tara used to like this restaurant. Just conversation. She's like, I don't want to hear nothing about your damn ex. <laughs> but that's all he knows. You know what I'm saying? So just yeah. have a conversation and be like, listen, I'm not jealous of anything, but it kind of irks me a little bit. You constantly bringing up your ex, so if you can just try to not do it so much, yeah. But if it's only been two weeks and he really, they really were like in love or whatever, those feelings don't just go away just because. And and that's what I'm saying. I think that if he's bringing it up like that, and if she's unsure, you know what I'm saying. He he's not making her feel sure. Probably mm-hmm. because he still got feelings for her. I'm not saying that very lightly. That it's still fresh. So I would just like if you got to write this letter, then he, he's not making you feel sure about where you stand in his in his life. But it's yeah. still new. But did, did you ever she think can't about expect this? too much? In his he may not be ready to jump back. He might still be with his ex. <laughs> yeah, that's she true. Might. Yeah, she might. It could all be a lie. That's true. I mean, because they said how long they was together? They've been mm-hmm. dating about a month, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's only been probably like six, thirty seven. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that. You you don't even know somebody's middle name in it. Come on, just, just. Exactly. I mean, and if it's and if and if he's mentioning her and not like fawning over her mm-hmm. or you know like, oh my ex had that dress. She looked better in it though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't, as, don't do as that. As long as he's not doing yeah. that kind of stuff, I would just have a conversation with him. Like, yo, man. Like, like, and, and ask his expectations. You get what I'm saying? Is he ready to get into another long committed relationship right now? Right. He may not be. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, but it's it's still too new. You can't, like Goose said, he's if he's been with this chick for however long and he's only known you for 30 days. You might want to give him some leeway there. Y'all don't even have the, those memories yet. Right. <laughs> like, babe, you remember that time you tripped over the step? <laughs> right. right. Y'all, got, y'all don't have no real memories yet. Right. Right. But see, and the other thing, I'm, I'm curious as to how he was bringing her up. You dig what I'm saying? Right. right. Yeah. Because if it's like, oh, yeah, my ex never did this or my ex never did that. Dog, man, he giving you the blueprint. Mm-hmm. That what is true. Doing? That's true. That true. true. Yeah. You're right. It's true. How smart you are. No, it's easy. When, when, when Terry and I first started dating, she's like, oh, yeah, this guy I was messing with said he's going to take me head. He's gonna... He ain't do none of that. I took that her that? everywhere that she, everything the dude said he was going to do, didn't do. I did it. <laughs> easy. Well, okay. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yes, you did. Easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only place he ever took me was Fud Rockers. This one, we've been all over the world. <laughs> What? See? See? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fuck, Ruckus. That's the hamburger place, right? Yeah, it's my spot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're not around no more. Yeah, they're gone. So. <laughs> well, they're, at least they're not, around. Fucking fun, right? they're not around here. So. Okay, great. All right, so we're going to get into our first topic of the night. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. Did I find this or did you find this, Tyra? I can't you found remember. this one. I don't know, but it's hilarious to me. So, anyway, okay. long story half long. So, the title of this is Wife is upset after husband upgrades only his ticket for their 12-hour flight. Mm. So, according to the article, 
Upgrading your ticket to a better seat can make your flight far more comfortable. So it makes sense that many people would take a free bump to a business class every chance they get. Yet some grab this opportunity so fast they don't even think how their fellow travelers might feel about it. So this is how the story goes. This guy said him and his wife were going to the United States from Japan for a one month vacation. When they booked the tickets, they initially thought they were going to be sitting next to each other. But he had the option to upgrade his seat because of his business miles. So he did. He upgraded himself. His wife wanted the two of them to sit together on a 12-hour flight, which that's a long freaking time. Mm-hmm. But it's overnight. So in his head, he was like, we're going to be asleep. So it doesn't matter if we're sitting next to each other. So he says he told her and she got upset because she thinks that he chose business class over her. And apparently that's rude. These are his words. So apparently that's rude. You know what I'm saying? Um, So he said to her that she's just jealous, but he said it in a teasing way. And then she got upset and told him to call the airline and switch his seat back to economy. He said, hell no, because I'm not going to miss the opportunity to sit in business class which looks amazing, by the way. So if y'all want to look it up, it's the A-N-A, Apple, Nancy, Apple room, if you want to look it up. So he said, in my eyes, it's a 12-hour flight. It doesn't matter if I sit next to my wife or not. If it's really bad, though, I still have a week before my flight to maybe get it changed. So his question is, am I the asshole? Mm -hmm. Yep. And no matter how you try and spin it, yeah. No matter what you say, you gonna be the asshole, bro. You can't. You can't win. Not not in this one. You can't win. I wonder how long they've been married. Yeah. Is that so selfish? Twelve Very, hours. First of all, twelve hours. I don't like when Goose and I have to sit across the aisle from each other. First of all, bro, you know you can't even go get nothing to eat without bringing her some. So what make you think <laughs> she gonna sit on a milk creek while you in a recliner? Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yo, it was one of the, <laughs> was it one of the first class drinks with the? Uh, it's probably the lay down the, the business plan. Lay down with the like a little, like a little pie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, if he don't switch them tickets, that one month vacation gonna be very rough. No. Yeah, and bro, who want to go on vacation and be there for a month? Right, with a woman that's mad, and then not only that, every time anything comes up, it's coming. Oh, remember that time, uh huh, and I was sitting back there, and I was sitting back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might okay. want to divorce her behind this, story yeah, because she ain't gonna let you live it down. Nope. nope, probably not. not. And I really hope you get an opportunity to do to eventually get that seat. I really oh, do. Yeah. Well, better, just don't what? do it with her. Next time y'all decide to go somewhere, book business but, class for both of y'all. Yeah. Exactly. See, what I don't understand. So he booked. So was he offered the upgrade at the airport? No. He, he was, was offered, offered the upgrade online when he booked the tickets because he put it in his name and because he had traveled and had business miles. They were like, "Oh, you're available for a free up- upgrade to business class. Do you want it?" And he took it. Yeah, so selfish. Did he know at the time that it was only his one seat? Like, damn, like he that knew. seems crazy to do. Like, I just can't think of, that you would just, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and be in, in first class while my wife back here. Yeah, Who so he wanna be up there that? popping bottles, eating filet mignon. Uh-huh. He, gonna, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna be loving the action while she back there with her knees Still in it. her chest. I wonder, I wonder if they're like, I wonder if they're like, you know, one of them couples that really don't like each other. So why are you a couple then if you don't like why each other? Why are you going on a month long business, 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 purpose. business purposes? Uh, or it could it could it could be a it could be like a sugar daddy type type of deal. They married. They're married. They're married. But you know what I'm saying like 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 uh, what was her name? Anna Nicole Smith and the old oh, head. Yeah, uh, like one of them yeah. type. Yeah, yeah. It's a comment down there, Justin. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting. They come. <laughs> All right, so so there is an update to this. You ready? Okay, what's the update? The husband admitted he is an asshole, Uh and he upgraded her seat next to him in business class. But for the record, they were his miles 
So he could not use them to upgrade her seat. So he had to actually buy. Oh, well, that's what you get. A seat next that's what you do is you be like, okay, how much is it to upgrade my wife's seat to business class? And that's, and that's what you that's what he did. That's no, but when he was booking, that's what he should have did. Right. Oh, I, I totally so, agree. Yeah. I totally agree. Exactly. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh yeah. so I'm from Philly. He dickhead. <laughs> Justin, can you <laughs> can you hit the little button to bleep that out? That was at like 30 and 38, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, you yeah, that was you straight up you selfish. Ain't, you ain't winning and you ain't coming back from that one. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, you might nah. as well exchange your it back. mama wouldn't even defend you on this. And if she will, no. she's an asshole too. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> might as well oh. just change it back. Change the ticket back, bro. Yeah, yeah. well, he did. He, got, he upgraded her. But see, yeah. I would still be, she's still going to be upset because why we had to go through all of this for you to upgrade my ticket? Like you, that means y'all wasn't it's first. No winning. It's, it's no, dude, it's just no winning. Yeah, you're not going to win at all. It's no winning. But so. this is a lesson. Remember it. Yeah, for everything. Take this and move, and, and, and move forward. Any lesson that comes along from here on out, you are now a unit, sir. When you do something, you consider that other person. Yeah. I'll, tell you, Absolutely. I'll tell you, if Tyra were to do that to me, Ooh, I'd be hot. I would be hot. I, I, I know for a sure no fat Goose wouldn't do that to me. Goose would be like, no, man, go ahead. You, I know you, you would. You do sit in the comfortable, I'll be back here. But I wouldn't want him to do that. But he I, would. I would make sure Tyra heard my voice on that plane. <laughs> First of all, she I'd be done complain <laughs> so bad. We both be done had a free a free business class. Listen, the owner of the airline what called you, you personally. What like, you complaining about? Mrs. Watson, the airline so didn't sorry. do anything. No, it's not the I'm like, uh-uh. I, I listen, it's, it's either we upgrade. Uh -huh. Listen, I be blasting them all. Hi, E. Hi. Oh, hey, hey, Squeezy. <laughs> oh, Lord. I didn't mean to call you that on live. Uh-oh. Okay. okay, thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> now all of 10-7 is Eli's home. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So yeah, um, but good job. You know, you tried to fix it, but you still gonna have some making up to do, sir. Yo, oh yeah, definitely. You, 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 you want to spend a lot of money on vacation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. You got thirty days. To and help. you ain't getting none. <laughs> Wait, Lee. I said I hope you don't want none after that. That's yeah. what I said, and you ain't getting. And none. you ain't getting for none. thirty days, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never stop by the. Never mind. No, because of, we, no, it was culturally insensitive what I was about to say. Now I don't want to say. Oh, it. okay, just yes. in case I want to run for president one day. Exactly. <laughs> I know exactly what you was going to say. <laughs> Listen, at the rate we going, you could run for vice president. I could run for VP. Right. No experience needed. <laughs> Wait till they get a load of us. <laughs> so, what's the, what's the what's next, the one? next one? Moving right along. Who wants to take this next one? This one I thought was. Hilarious. Oh, the, the, the mother in law one. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is long though. Can we? These are articles. That's why. These I know. Can we like sum so, it up? These are from subreddits. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, in, in this particular one, a woman bans mother in law from her house after she hung a framed wedding photo of her son and his ex wife. Oh, yeah. She got the gun. So, yeah. I like it. Yeah, I'll read it. I'll like, read it's, it. Not, it's not very long. It, it looks long, but it's not long. Oh, you want to read the whole John? All right, a 31 year old woman got into a huge. I'm about argument. to say the old man was pull, pulling his glasses out. Oh, go ahead, Goose. Oh, go ahead, Goose. My bad. Right. A 31 year old woman got a huge, got into a huge argument with her mother in law over her husband's ex. My husband, 30, and I, 31, have just bought our first house together. We're loving it and we're excited to decorate it together. Unfortunately, my husband travels a lot for work and we've already had new furniture arrive but I couldn't do it by myself. My mother-in-law offered to help and I agreed. Yesterday, I got home from work and was shocked to see one of the walls was full of framed pictures that my mother-in-law put there. This is not the main problem because the pictures were from my child, from his childhood, graduation, birthdays. And then I saw the biggest framed picture of them all <laughs> <laughs> and it is him and his ex on their wedding day. For context, my mother-in-law adores my husband's ex. She brings her up all the time and reminisces about the past years with her. Not only that, but she includes her in events and holidays, which causes issues between them. Rude. 
I lashed out at my mother-in-law, asking what the hell she put the picture on the wall for and how she thought it was in a how she thought it was appropriate thing to do. I told her, take it down. In that instance, at the in that instance, but she got defensive and said, This is part of Derek's life, and you cannot erase it. Wow. What? Then went on about how many hours she spent working on the wall and how it, and how I should try to be a little more appreciative. I lost my cool and flipped out on her. I removed the picture. She started arguing with me and asking, what's wrong with me and calling me crazy? I told her to take the picture and leave. But she tried to say that it wasn't just the X in the picture, that the picture, that the picture, but my, hmm? It wasn't just, just the, the X, X in, in that picture, picture but, but my husband as well. But I told her I'd throw it out and she won't if she won't leave. She left but started texting me saying stuff like jealous, bitter, overbearing, controlling, etc. I responded by telling her she disrespected me in my own home by what she did and proceeded to ban her from the house. Good girl. Good job. Yep. She called my husband and forwarded a screenshot of the band. He called me and we talked. He then said his mom ought to know better, but she didn't. And I was right to be angry by, but by banning her. No, but, but banning her from the house was an overreaction, like a crazy overreaction. He tried to get me to call her and cancel the band, but I refused. He then ranted about how un- Fair I was to make such a decision when it's the house, our when it's house. our house, not just mine. Conversations went nowhere. My in-laws are upset with me saying I went overboard with this reaction and argued me to the, to let the mother-in-law back in the house and drop the whole thing like it never happened. Am I the asshole? Nope. No, you're not. His mother is. Yeah, nah, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, what? She, what? she did that on her. Why did exactly. she even have that picture in the house? The mother exactly. the mother in law must have brought it over there. She brought it with her and she did that on purpose. Yeah. That was a I don't like you. I still like her. That's exactly what that and was. She's, and she's and she's had welcome and had those feelings. You can totally exactly. like her. But you but, not but not in, in my house, we're not doing nah. that. No. Nah. Okay. Talk about so well, here, was a prom picture. Picture. All right, well then we're gonna okay. suck her out the picture. And if you like that picture so much, we can hang the picture of just him. Right. Put it up in your house then. Put, exactly. Put it up in your house. And stop talking about this wench. She's gone. Right. I'm here now. But that's still and her friend, though. That's cool. That's fine. And here's the other thing, mother-in-law. You want to see your grandkids? Keep it the hell up. Keep it up. Man, see you buggy. No, I'm not. I wouldn't do. See, I wouldn't you, see that, you see that? You you see how women go straight to using the kids? No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. I wouldn't do like that. Me? But you I don't like me? Do. You don't like what came out of me? Ain't got nothing to do with it. That's the simple. It don't, it it don't have nothing to that's do with it. That's listen. Don't have nothing to do with it. Mm-mm. So so so. Not on my dime. So to make you feel better, you are gonna keep the kids from seeing their grandparents? She can't come here. You know why? Because she constantly gonna be talking about this bitch. Absolutely listen, not. Absolutely fine. not. She don't have to come here. But guess what? The kids are not tethered to the damn house. Well, all right, I you, can take them anywhere I want to take them. You can see them in the park, and that's and that and it has to be supervised. Okay, round one. So now you want to get a divorce because you just want to act like a nut. Oh well, go live with yeah, your mother because I'm because, like, because, I can give you something that because, your mother can't. Because dig this. So go ahead. Because, go live with your because mother. Because dig this. Because you hurt. Go live you with not, your You're not going to dictate what I do. Go live with your mother. That's what you're not going to do. Go live with your mother. Because she ain't going to be around my kids. You want to disrespect me? But you disrespected me from day one. This relationship is over. We have no relationship. <laughs> this story <laughs> hates close. <laughs> and like I said, if you came out of me, that's mine. But, but but do you see how women take ownership of the kids? Not don't give a damn with the father thing. I don't agree with, no. Not don't give a damn with the father thing. All you want to do is use the kids to hurt people. And you, and women know that that's a good way to hurt people. And, you don't and, they, think, and they go straight there. You don't think that that was hurtful to me? 
for her to bring this picture first, here and constantly talk about this woman? First like, of all, what, that's, first, that's not first of all, first of all, the husband said that the mom was wrong and that should have never happened. Exactly. So the husband is on your side. Exactly. So there's no reason to bring but the kids into it. Telling her no, okay. get rid of the band. His family is saying get okay. rid of the band. How about him and right. his whole family could kiss the fattest part of my ass? Okay. We can do all that. Right. All right. Okay. All right. I don't. I mean, I don't agree. She should use the kids. I would never do that. Kids don't have nothing to do with that. Exactly. The band, though, I would be. It would have to take me some time because you just because you brought it in my house. You purposely came in my house with the intent to disrespect you. Absolutely, with that intent. You know what? Be that re she she got the reaction from her that she wanted. You dig what I'm saying? She did. She did. She did. And, and guess what? She won. The no, because won. now you got to reap what you sow, and you no, met. No, she did. No, she did. Do you do you, do you, do you think? The mother-in-law cares that she can't go to her son's house when her son could go to hers. No, she probably don't. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm I said, just she saying she does. She don't care. But she don't think and she probably it. offered to help with the furniture and stuff so she could do that. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you're not just going to have so she the right intent into it. coming in my house. So, like so, so, so you know what I'd have done? You know what I'd have done? You know what else would you do? I would have said And then when she left, I would have taken the fuck down. Hold on, hold on, y'all. We, we can't talk at the same time. No, but I'm just saying just because, nobody's because gonna hear it. I don't trust the mother. Because if she's that disrespectful, what if what if I let you in and what you gonna try to poison me next? Nope. Like, oh, I don't know what you're gonna do. She can't come, she there can't come in my house. The cliff, she can't, and y'all y'all had a beeline come, to the cliff. She cannot come in my no. house. She the, cannot be in my life. Right. So, Anything so, that so, I'm so at, now, she cannot be in. So now the lady hung a picture up, and now you think she's trying to kill you. She People crazy, you never know. I'm not saying that I would totally ban her for life, but you would have to give me some time because now I don't trust you and I don't trust your intent. You can't be left alone in my house because you may mess around, see, put any freeze in my jeeps. I like to show people that I'm above them. So I mean, I, that's so, nice. So, that's so, how you do it. I, I, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it any. I, I wouldn't say it anything. It would be my Cheetah. goal to hurt her every time. Every Listen, opportunity but, I got. But, but, every but, opportunity. But 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 you, no, don't, want, do but you don't have to be so malicious when you do it. So what I'm saying is, I don't care. I wouldn't have said anything to her. I'd have thanked her for her help when she left. I'd have took the picture down and I'd have had the conversation with my husband. And then the very next day, I'd invite her over for brunch so she could see that the picture wasn't up there. That's nice. You dig what I'm saying? He's so so so, so 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 get, and, and then ball in your court. Now what you going to do? Hang it back up. This is my house. She, she was your house originally. But, but, but the mother-in-law was there by herself when she did it. But she seems like the type of person that would constantly do nitpicky things. That's all I'm like, mean, if you're cool. going to do that, and why should I have to deal with that? Why you should you have to deal with that? Constantly. Oh, and and because because you know, no, talk about no, this no, no, the husband no. needs to rein her in. No, listen. It could be a tip for tag. Because what if she comes back and then put the picture somewhere else? And then y'all just going back and forth. Over this picture, no, I'm gonna cut you off right. I'm gonna cut no. you off right in the beginning. You play game? Not gonna play game? Me in my house. Play game? Not. Play game? Let's play game. I'm not. I'm not playing games with nobody. Mother made you. Mother fuck you. I don't have to play games with nobody. Put you down the first time. Get rid of the picture. Why? Why would you even give her a chance to put it back up? She may have other pictures. Oh, no. Or out of it, she's gonna keep coming. Guess what? They all coming down. What's even better is before. She should have took the picture down while the mom was there. Just like, you know what? I don't need this up there. Thank you. You can take it back home. Mm -hmm. That's what she should have did. You got, you got you it. what I'm saying? Goose has definitely it. reserved his spot in heaven. No. I am full no. of the devil. No. So I no. wouldn't be looking for nothing but ways no. to hurt her. No. Because, I wouldn't be looking for ways because, to hurt her. But because you don't think that would hurt her? You don't. You Because did this. I bet you she didn't believe that she would have the heart to do that. Take the picture down and be like, hey, here you go. I don't need that. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't I would be looking for ways to hurt her, but I would definitely make it known that you will not disrespect me in any fashion in my house. In any fashion. And if you cannot, and if you cannot hold your peace, then you need to not come back to my house. I don't I don't care if your son lives here. But if you, if you I don't care. I, 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 just, I just find it funny how women just wanted to dictate and control everything. I mean, 
I'm based not off trying of their to, feelings no. and not taking the husband's feelings into consideration. I understand that. But would you allow somebody to come in your house and constantly nitpick and constantly being smart? And she probably saying smart things, doing all kind of little smart but stuff. But what I'm saying is house? give it back to her. You, you, you don't got to be mean. You ain't got to be evil. She say something smart, you say something smart back. No, we're not doing Let's that. I don't have time first. for that. Yeah, I'm That's stressful. Yeah. I don't got time for that. That's I'm stressful. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm if not you doing going, it. If you can't be respectful, then you can't come in. Remove I wouldn't ban her. You were removed from the situation. You are you are now a non-factor in my right. life. Period. I'm not going to go right. tit for tat. Just, I'm not doing that because that's tit for tat. Mm -hmm. You either going to respect me in my house or not come in. And just, I wouldn't ban her if you would get an ultimatum. You're going to be respectful or you can't come. End of story. Yeah. You can't respect me. No, she can come, it's, but it's, I would just make her feel just as uncomfortable if she's making it's, me feel it's uncomfortable. It's never it's See, that's never gonna stop. I don't have time to think about, about how to make you feel uncomfortable. She should have had an event and banned her then. But like, you know what? You can leave in front of everybody. It's never going to stop. I feel bad for yeah. No, ma'am, you are not the asshole. It's never going to stop. No, you're not the asshole. I don't think she's the asshole, but no, I, I wouldn't do that to the test stuff. I'm going to let you know up front. You know, that is that is the husband's mother. We can, I wouldn't ban her, but she would have an ultimatum. You either going to respect me or you can't come here. End the story. What is this she says, it seems like the mother-in-law has been out of control since the beginning of the relationship. I would have taken the picture down in front of her, take it outside, and burn it in front, in front That's of her. Right. That ain't that so right. Her jump in the fire with it. See, no. I ain't trying to do all that. But well, that's what they used not, to burn witches. I'm at not, I'm not. I don't want anybody disrespecting me in my in my house on my side of the family or his side of the family. If you don't like me, then why? Don't come to my house. Don't be around me. It's that simple. It's that simple. This yeah. is my house. It's my personal space. I should feel comfortable in my space. Amen. You are that's exactly right. And I'm not going to be sitting here thinking about how I can make you feel bad and going tit for tat for no, you. I don't have to think about it. it. When you come at me smart, it comes from the top of my head. I come back. Everybody smart. don't do that though, Goose. No. He, just, he, he doesn't, doesn't realize that everybody is not like him. Most right. I don't have time. Like, I don't have to think. You mother. Come on. Most I don't people. have time for that. Nobody that's why, you know why? Because the, the reason I, I like to do things the way I said that is because. I'm hoping it'll make her think. But see, I don't, I don't, it's just like, it seems like she's setting her ways. Exactly. If she took her, her son's old wedding picture, like, you know, the son is divorced. You know, he not with her anymore. Really? Come on. That was, that was intentional. That was intentional. And I would let her know you either going to respect me in my house or don't come. I wouldn't ban her, but she, it, she would definitely get an ultimatum. Definitely. And she deserves it. Yeah, well, let me know when that witch is coming so I can leave. Bye. No, ma'am, you are not the age. No, and I'm not leaving my house. No, I'm not. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, you're right. Bitch can't come. Yeah, you ain't got to. I'm not leaving my house. Like I'm saying, I, all I'm, what I'm saying is, like, all of y'all feelings are valid. Right. But I still stand by. Ain't no, There's no need to bring the kids in. I agree with that. I, I never said that. I agree with that. I don't think that, I don't, I mean, I'm, I had my own situation and I've never, not one time, kept my daughter away from her grand. Never. Look, good luck. You know how many grandparents poison their grandchildren against their parents? Good luck with that. Y'all, y'all watching too many of these doggone yeah. writing shows. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but never, it's, never. it's 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 not like this made up. I didn't make yeah, it up. I, I didn't just, just invent this just like, now at seven forty eight like, on Sunday gonna, night. Are we this is a thing. Kids away from anybody because somebody got poisoned in <laughs> Iowa, Iowa, Wisconsin. <laughs> if, you, if you if you don't like me and you hate me, then you you don't like what has come out of me. I don't understand. But it also I, came I, out I of her son too. that that connection. Okay, well we'll see. But but I mean we're not in that situation. But I, if if you but like if what you happens when the kids are like I want to see I want to see there's no need for you to be around me or my children. No, I mean, I Tara, I gotta disagree with you on that. Well, and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't change my my mind. She could be sweet as pie to the kids. I don't give a damn. And kids I don't believe it. You. I don't believe you it. You don't have to believe it. I don't believe it. You don't have to believe it if the husband believe it. And, that's all that matters. And clearly, he doesn't have the tit out of his mouth because he's like, "Can you please call my mommy and make up with my mommy, please?" So save it now. All um, right. Okay. I really wish we knew these people. And like down the line, we could follow up with them because right. I bet you dollar 
to donuts, it ain't gonna last. And if it do, then I'd and, be wrong. And it could be it's because rare. of his mom doing stuff. And and that's my thing. Like he needs to really sit down and have a heart to heart with his mother. You know what I mean? Yeah. He really does. Yeah. Because like, it's totally disrespectful. It it's really so, is. She was out up. of line. Keep it up. Your wife can give you something that your mother can't. Keep it up. Go live with your mother. His mom can't, but a whole lot of other chicks can. Amen. Have oh, that. All right. <laughs> on to the next one. Oh, the next you know one? what? Next one to buck a lot of it. Yeah. So the next one, we'll go on to the next story. We about the and this is real short and sweet. A woman won the lottery. Um uh she stunned the internet after revealing she won a big lottery, but kept it a secret from her husband for almost eight years. In fact, the only reason he even discovered her deception in the first place was after intercepting a text telling her she has now she was now a millionaire. Concerns over the other half uh, spending habits certainly appear to have motivated this particular woman's decision to hide the fact that she she won $480,000. She hid it from her husband, but she hired a financial person and reinvested the money. Lo and behold, a couple years later, they're now mil millionaires. Mm -hmm. So um, the husband was upset because he... Um, because he found out that she kept all this money from her. But she kept it from him because the husband has poor spending habits and she didn't want him to waste away all of the money. Smart. So here we go. Now they're millionaires. So, I agree with so, the so, when I first read this, I was like, ah, he a nut for being mad. But mm -hmm. I just thought about something. Okay. She won 400 and something thousand dollars. Right. And, it, and eight years later, it turned into a million, right? right. Mm -hmm. And the husband is mad. You know, mm -hmm. I'd probably be mad too, because I'd be like, yo, you mean I worked the last eight years? <laughs> <laughs> and I could have quit. We had 500000 dollars in the bank. You still had to work. That ain't shit. Right. No, but you can make different moves. But see, the thing about it is about communication. Because you gotta tell me, listen, babe, I want five hundred thousand dollars, but we're not gonna touch it. I got it with this financial book. What you think he would have not touched that money? Y'all, you know what? Y'all think men ain't nothing. I'm not saying that. Y'all just think we got to control. Listen, you know, no, 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 no. No, you're not listening. No. She, he what, admitted that he has poor spending habits. No, the article said it appears she made that decision because he has poor spending, poor spending habits. habits. We don't yeah. know that he has poor spending habits for a fact. Whatever. And he may. But all I'm saying is, it's about communication. And she she lied by omission. You the big one. Oh, if you lie, I can't be with you. That's right. That was a, that was a lie. So should he leave so and actually, take half of the million? 500000 Actually. And Tyra, probably be broke and she going to have another million. Yep. Tyra, I think you, you kind of like glanced over a piece. So oh. it's just, my husband has a tendency to spend on things that we don't need and that aren't going to benefit us in the long run. So right. I don't want our money to be blown quickly on stupid stuff like cars and clothes. Mm -hmm. So at the time when she actually won the money, right. they weren't married. So she ain't had to say shit. Oh yeah, she did. You left that part out. Oh, I oh I did. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah no. Nah. So yeah. if they wasn't married, she don't have to tell them. Yeah. But I still would have been salty. Like, yo, I've been working eight years. Like, we could have had a plan, retirement plan. I need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And now we do. Because right now, my Surprise! life is like 20 years away. She said, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You move the light 10 comment. years closer, I'd be happy. I agree with Ryan's comment because he said, no, nah, he wasn't agreeing to that if he already had a track record of financial issues. You know what? People say that. But if you work, you should be able. He, she didn't say I came home. He responsible for the gas bill. I came home and the gas was off. She ain't said none of that. What no, she said was that. what she said was she didn't want to spend the money on things that Clothes wasn't going to advance cars. them in their future. Exactly. But that's what people do every day. Okay. You work and you buy stuff that you know ain't gonna last. In the last 20 years, how many TVs you you dig what I'm saying? Well, we're at least we're not those Black Friday people that no, no. buy a TV no. every Black Friday. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. But, but like I said, I, I would have liked to have known that the light in my tunnel moved 10 years closer. That's all I'm saying. You dig what I'm saying? Like, Well, now he does. Just, just tell me, all right, yeah, he does. Yeah. 
I mean, and I'm sure he's gonna get over it, but I, he's probably like, you know what, that's jacked up. Yeah. So he did go on to tell her that he was proud of her for investing in their future. Yeah. yeah. So that's good. But he said he needed a few days to clear his head because he felt like she hid a huge part of herself from him. I mean, I don't so, agree with that. Listen. Save it. Because if she held this back, what else would she held it back? I'm gonna treat y'all like y'all treat God. <laughs> it's not yours. We're millionaires. What, what, else, what, else, what else was she holding back? What else did she not tell him if she didn't tell him she won five hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and, and this is the thing. So she won five, and, and her lifestyle ain't changed. She ain't buy no diamond earring. She ain't buy nothing. She gave the whole four hundred and eighty-three thousand dollars to the financial ball and was all good. I don't know. The letter exactly. doesn't say. So I, know, I know it doesn't say, but I'm just saying these are things to think about. Wow. He wouldn't be a because maybe she didn't know it was going to last. I, I, he probably would not be I a mean, They definitely married. weren't married when she won. She I wouldn't have said anything. Either. Right. She could have, she could have, she could have not married him. But but this is the dumb stuff. If he wasn't married, she could have told him and he had absolutely no claim to any of the money and she could At still all. do what she wants. So she really, to me, she hit it for no reason. Maybe she didn't want him to stay with her for the money. Maybe mm. she wanted to see if he, you know, if he really was like into her like that. That's, well, it's a lot more information. Right. What I'm saying, had he known that, right? Oh, he would have he would have been on his P's and Q's. Maybe marry her. Well, maybe he would have been the same even faster. <laughs> the baby ain't sure. <laughs> <laughs> but we're millionaires, so that's cool. <laughs> right, right, right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our final on? twist. Oh, yeah. oh. Well, final twist, is, y'all. Final this, twist. This if you guys have a twist. final twist, please put your final twist in the um in the chat, and we'll go ahead and read your final twist. So, who wants to go first for our final twist? You've been mighty quiet over here. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm, I'll go last. Why? You haven't said nothing for like I the said past I'm three minutes. Go last. Fine. Go last. Thank you. All right. Well, you want to go first, Sarah? No, because I don't have a final twist. Oh, right. I, got, I got one. So when you when when you're going throughout your life, your daily life, you know, just doing what you do every day, right? Try not to make other people's problem your problem. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? So 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 it's a that's a large spectrum of things. You know what I mean? So it could go from. Um, Friends, like if someone cuts you off in traffic, you dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let them go on ahead. Because whatever their issue is, is not your issue. And they're driving away from you. So it's really, they're really not your issue. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So and I, and I think if people don't allow other people's problems and small things to agitate them so much, mm -hmm. you know, it, it'll bring about a better quality of life. That's that's a really nice thought, babe. Yeah, that's true. It that's really true. is. It's true. All right. Yep. So who wants to go next? I'll go next. I saw a nice little quote um, in this group that I'm in on mm -hmm. Facebook. So I'll read that as my final twist. Healing can be offensive to people who benefited from your brokenness. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because they can't use you anymore. Exactly. Oh. That's a good one. And as soon as they can't, you know, you become the enemy. So. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mine is um, most people would find licking the inside of a pipe disgusting, but wouldn't think twice about drinking water coming from that same pipe. Mm -hmm. Damn. Oh, really? I don't drink tap water. So. I do school. Oh, we much. drink tap water because tap water is more regulated than bottled water. Yeah. I don't care. I, I, I drink, <laughs> shoot, we used to drink the water from the spigot from the side of a building. We was playing basketball. You're thirsty so. enough. You'll drink swamp water. Yeah. That's cool. Boil it first, but I'm saying. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know about that. All right. <laughs> so my final twist. never going on naked in <laughs> Heck no. My final twist is probably more for people that do stuff like this, host shows and podcasts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. I always said, and somebody told me, the mark of a good host is knowing when to be quiet and let a go good show happen around you. And that's just what I did today. I, let, I, I sat back and I let the good show happen around me. I ain't say a word. Y'all, y'all handle this. <laughs> <laughs> this one. 
That's what we do, but it's all in love. We go at it, but it's all in love. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's what y'all tune in for. <laughs> the foolishness. <laughs> what you say, Goose? No, I said that's what they tune in for. And I said yep. <laughs> exactly. At this time it wasn't me and Goose going at it. We was we was kind of on the same side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. Well, look. We gonna get up out of here. Dictators with rub you. me wrong. Huh? I said dictators rub me wrong. I can't with this one. Oh my god! I ain't <laughs> no drink. Somebody pour me a drink. <laughs> we gonna get up out of here. Appreciate y'all hanging with us today on the Ten Seven Show with Tara Tara myself. <laughs> if you want to write into Dear Ten Seven, just write into us at Ten Seven Show at Ten Seven Show at Gmail dot com. And uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Ten Seven Show, and follow New Twist Radio at. New Twist Radio. radio. <laughs> you all right? Oh, go ahead. Oh, I thought you tied me. No. Follow us at New Twist Radio, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right. We and don't forget to like. Like. Oh, don't yeah. forget like to and like. Subscribe. Like, like subscribe. and subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, go to H-E double hockey sticks. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, I don't think coming yet, but I'm, I'm going to get to it. But we appreciate y'all. We'll talk to y'all next time. We out of here. All right, y'all. Peace. peace.